Okay, um, thank you very much, Jody. So I'm going to tell you mainly about the, the paperwork and the, uh, you know, the dotting of the I's and the crossing of the T's that you need to do to apply for honours. But before I do, I'll just have one slide of uh, salesmanship coming up. I downloaded this picture from the net, and I don't know if you're familiar with this sort of theory, but it suggests that the two sides of your brains do somewhat different things. And you've got your uh, one side of the brain, your left brain, which is responsible for logic and analytical thought, etc. Whereas your right brain is, is creative. Now, I'm not a neurobiologist, I can't attest to the veracity of this, but I did read about this in Wikipedia, so I think it's probably true. <laughs> Looking at this, um, you know, you see down the left brain, we've got analytical thought, logic, right brain, holistic thought and intuition. But what really annoys me about this is that science is down exclusively on the left brain. Right? There's art and music on the right brain, and there's science on the left brain. So whoever made this, I can say without any shadow of a doubt, knows absolutely nothing about scientific or medical research. Because I would argue very strongly that for you to be a good researcher, you really need holistic thought and intuition and creativity. You're dealing with the edge of knowledge, right? There's not necessarily an answer that you can look up in your textbook. And so to answer those unknown questions, you really need creativity. And I really argue very strongly that a successful honours student or a successful research scientist has the same passion and ownership of their science that an artist has about their sculpt, their sculpture, or a, a musician might have about, about their, their song. So that's why I reckon you should do honours, because research is a creative activity. What you've done in your undergraduate years is that you've had a bunch of boring academics like myself who've made you learn prep cycle and recite a function of 25 cytokines. You don't do that in honours. Yes, you need logic, but you also are going to need the right side of your brain is to be creative. So that's my plug. That's why I should do honours. Okay, so how are you going to apply for this honours here? Well, it's a two-step process. And step number one is to choose your project and your supervisor. And so, check out the project booklet that you all have. Choose the areas, areas that interest you. And I really should state that you should be excited about your project, right? It's a tough eight months, so it's challenging. So you really need to be very excited about the area that you want to work in. Use today to talk to lots of people. And so today is a little bit like speed dating. You're going to go out there and you're going to talk to lots of research scientists and students about their research. And you should be using today to check them out. Because believe me, they're going to be checking you out as well. And so you want to... A, a relationship with your supervisor is really very, very important. It's that they're a critically important person in your honours year. So make sure that this is a person that you want to spend eight months working with. Do your homework. Check these supervisors out. Read their papers. Talk to the people who work in their lab. Talk to their previous or their current honours students and their PhD students. I think it's very important. The project's very important, but your supervisor is critically important. Um, I should say that you shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket. Consider more than one supervisor. Indeed, with the forms, with the BMS forms and our internal form for, for BSC, you need to have two preferences. And that second preference shouldn't really be a second project in the same lab. And my reason for that is that if your favourite supervisor got run over by a bus in December, we want you to have a backup plan, something else to do in your own policy. Okay. So, step number two is the paperwork, right? So you've chosen your project, you've chosen your supervisor, you've got two preferences. How do you, what do you do next? Are you eligible? And so, um, in terms of yeah, our main students who are either doing BSc or BMS, the requirements are subtly different, but essentially you need to average 70% in four relevant subjects. Um, I urge you all, before you put in your paperwork, that you need to go and talk to the relevant um, honours coordinator. Because there are a few subtleties in, in um, applying for these degrees. BMS students can apply to, to BSc, but not vice versa. And so if you're a BMS student, you have to count your core subjects, BMS 302, 103042. 
if you're unlucky enough to bomb out of one of them, you might be better off in applying for BSC on it. So talk to your coordinator. Don't just send your coordinator your form by email. Your coordinator will want to meet you. Now these forms aren't available yet, but they will be downloadable by, from the various websites. And I really stress you to go and talk to your honours coordinator. So it's myself and Dr. Fabanski for immunology, Justin Hamilton for, for pathology, and Jay for the School of Public Health and um, Preventative Medicine. Okay. And so having filled in your paperwork, you go to, you know, you get your supervisor to sign off on it, you get your honours coordinator to sign up, up off on it, it's then your responsibility to submit it to the relevant faculty office. And so if you get the appropriate marks, it should be very, very straightforward and you'll get your, your offers um, in early December. Okay. I should also say that if there's any people here from outside of Modash, you should definitely talk to your honours coordinators about which particular degree is the most appropriate one for you to apply for. Okay, so the deadlines for um, internal students are almost always at the end of the second week. I, I don't think they've been finalised yet, the second week of November. For the external students, it's usually the end of November. And so those dates will be posted on the board when they, on our um, websites when they become available. Okay, so there are scholarships that are available for honours. And so here at AMREP, I believe there are two scholarships, 6,000 bucks that you can apply for, so that's well worth, well worth going for. Monash also um, offers various uh, scholarships, and so you should definitely check them out. If you don't apply, you'll never get them. Okay, so this is just a map. So having spoken to you, I urge you to use the next 20 minutes before the, um, or the next half hour before the pigs arrive to go and talk to lots and lots of uh, people. I shall be either outside or in the uh, immunology room here in the classroom too, if anyone wants to talk to me or, um, about the various requirements for honours, and I can steer you to the other uh, honours coordinators as well. Okay, thanks for that. <laughs>